Section 6.1, exponential functions. So we have if b is greater than 0 but not 1, then an exponential function y equals f of x is of the form f of x equals b to the x. We call b the base, and x is the variable, which is the exponent. So for exponential functions, the variable is the power. And the domain is all real numbers, meaning we can plug any x in. So let's check out one. So we have f of x, for example, 1 is 3 to the x, and we want to find f of 2. So f of 2 means we get 3 to the second power, which is 9, right? 3 squared is 9. That's coming from 3 times 3. How about f of negative 2? So negative powers tell us to actually flip it or take the reciprocal. So we're going to get 1 over 3 squared instead. And that would be 1 ninth, right? It would be 1 squared over 3 squared or 1 third times 1 third. All right, and what do fraction powers do? So f of 1 half is 3 to the 1 half. And fraction powers are roots. So a 1 half power is a square root. So we get a square root of 3. So let's review some of the exponent rules. So we know how to simplify these for the future. So laws of exponents. So I'm going to have the base be positive, so a and b will be my bases for these examples. They're going to be bigger than 0. And then x, x1, and x2 are all real numbers because those are the powers. So bases are positive, but powers can be anything for these rules. So if we have b to the x1 times b to the x2, then we can go ahead and add the powers. And we get b to the x1 plus x2 as the power. So an example might be x squared times x cubed. We can combine the powers and make that x to the fifth. Um, similar for division. So b to the x1 over b to the x2, we can actually subtract powers. So we combine them by um, a single b to the x1 minus x2. So an example might be x to the 7th over x to the 4th. 7 minus 4 is 3, so we get x cubed. Um, I went over negative powers. So if I have a 1 over b to the x, I can bring it up as b to the negative x. Or if I have b to the negative x, I can do the reverse and flip it. So the negative power is just a reciprocal. We did that example above. Um, the next one is a power to a power is how I describe that. B to the x1 to the x2. So in terms of x's, that might be x squared to the fifth power. So it's different than the first example. We have a power on a power. And so what we can do is we can multiply powers b to the x1 times x2, both in the power. So x squared to the fifth would be x to the tenth. Um, and then we can also share powers if we have more than one base and we have parentheses. So I have a times b in parentheses with an x power. They both get the power, a to the x, b to the x. So like 2x cubed, they both become cubed, 2 cubed, x cubed. And our final rule for now is the same one, but division. So a over b in parentheses to the x, they both get the power. a to the x over b to the x. So that could be like fractions, 2 thirds squared, they both get squared. 2 squared, 3 squared. So let's check out two examples before we take a break. So we're going to use the laws of exponents to rewrite the following functions as an exponential function, b to the x. 
So right now we have f of x equals 3 to the 2x, and it's not quite at the base b to the x because x has a 2 on it. So I'm going to kind of use those properties, um, maybe backwards, but we can use them. So 3 to the 2x would be the same as 3 squared to the x. Right, we can factor out the x power, and so we get a function of f of x is 9 to the x, because 3 squared is 9. And now it fits the form of b to the x. Let's try one more. So 2 to the negative 3x, again, is not quite in that form. So I'm going to split them up again. So 2 to the negative 3, and then factor out the power of x. It's still 2 to the negative 3x. I've just written it with parentheses. And we learned that a negative is a reciprocal. So 2 to the negative 3 is 1 over 2 cubed, and then all to the x power. And then 2 cubed is 8, so we get 1 eighth to the x, and that'll be my function in the b to the x form.